Good evening, everyone. The small Newfoundland town immortalized in a hit musical seen by theater goers around the world was once again the site of a massive detour, except this time passengers couldn't even step out of the airport to take a gander. More than 240 passengers were forced to spend the night on benches and floors after the United Airlines flight they were on from Washington's Dulles Airport to Paris diverted because of a mechanical issue. But even though Canada Border Services says agents were on duty, only the 12 crew members aboard the 777 were processed and permitted to leave. CTV's Adrian Gobriel on the jarring journey for passengers. They came from away and were kept at bay including Taylor Katie and her family. We just felt like, wow, our, our freedom has been revoked for the evening. In the early morning hours yesterday, United Airlines Flight 915 from Washington to Paris was flying over the North Atlantic when a reported mechanical issue was flagged by the pilot. They said that we had lost one of the hydraulic systems in the plane um, and that we were making an emergency landing. You have two young children on that flight with you. You hear the words emergency landing what goes through your mind in that moment? I grabbed my son's knee, even though he was sleeping, and just kind of said a quick prayer. Looked at my husband, and he was like mouthing to me it was going to be fine. And then I started crying a little bit. Thankfully, the plane carrying 268 passengers, as well as 12 crew members, landed safely in Gander, Newfoundland. The same town played host to hundreds of travelers whose flights were sent there during 9-11. The community, they'll rally for us if this is a big emergency. Though the weary travelers received a less than accommodating welcome from Canada Border Service agents. CBSA officers cleared the flight's crew through customs. However, passengers were not, leading to 14 uncomfortable hours in the airport. There are people like in wheelchairs with neck braces who are on the flight, like way worse off than we were. In a statement, Border Services admits that while the request to clear passengers was made on site, it was not appropriately actioned. Going on to say the CBSA extends its sincere apologies to the passengers for any inconveniences experienced. The CBSA job in such a situation is to actually clear those passengers as quickly as possible to enter Canada. There was no security concern here. It embarrasses us as Canadians internationally too. The airport CEO confirms that CBSA staff have a 24-hour-a-day presence at Gander International. The good news, United finally sent a plane to pick everyone up. And they've since arrived safely in Paris. Omar. Likely relieved to have reached their final destination.